All right, so I'm recording because people have asked for this. Uh, yay? I don't know. Um, anyway, I am sitting inside of a bus, or a school bus. It used to be a school bus. Uh, actually belonged to Staples Motley uh, Independent School District in Minnesota. Uh, technically, she's a 1999 uh, International Bluebird. And I totally just bought her from a school bus dealer, used school bus dealer. So, yeah, I have a bus. Um, and it's pretty cool. So far, uh, it's been a lot, a lot of hard work. Um, but the whole idea of this project is uh, to create a mobile science home um, so that I can go out into the field um, and do science field work. Um, but still have the comfort of my home around me. Uh, I guess what kind of started this is I was, I always thought the like small, small, um, tiny living uh, houses were kind of neat. Um, I like the concept a lot. Um, but I have wanderlust really, really bad. And I have a hard time staying in one place. And it's not just that. Uh, one of the things I really struggled with in graduate school, because uh, I went to get my degree in uh, master's in evolutionary biology, um, and had a falling out with my master professor, and so I haven't finished that yet, though I'm intending to finish it uh, somewhere, either a master's or a PhD down the road. But anyway, one of the problems I ran into is that I always saw my co uh, coworkers or whatever, you know, my acquaintances um, who were in the program going off and doing really cool stuff in the field and I always really wanted to go do that but the problem I have is that I have a, a pain disorder um, which makes me really exhausted uh, I have a lot of pain and it's really really unpredictable and so I was always scared to go on any kind of field work uh, with other people because I didn't know how I was going to do from day to day uh, and having a really bad pain day when you're out you know, camping uh, in tents and sleeping bags can be really, really challenging. Um, and so the idea was, if I had a mobile home uh, that I could take with me out into the field, um, I could handle a bad day uh, and still be comfortable, recuperate, uh, and then go back out into the field the next day. So I also like the idea of driving around uh, and doing science things like uh, collecting plants, doing insect research, um, you know, investigating all the different ecosystems uh, that are here in this country. Because, you know, I live in the Midwest. Uh, I recognize that other places are a lot different ecologically, and I think it'd be really, really great to be able to get around um, and see see some of those things. Um, you know, a lot of my heroes in the science field. Uh, and a lot of my uh, heroes in the philosophy world had their worldview altered um, a great deal by experiencing the world around them. And I want to be able to do that, too. Uh, Edwin Hubble's quote, um, man explores the universe uh, and he calls the journey science, uh, which I paraphrased poorly. But that's one of my favorite quotes because I feel like I want to experience the world around me. Um, and so I'm setting up this bus to be my mobile home, uh, and I'm setting it up so it's going to have microscopes, um, you know, plant collection stuff, animal collection stuff, um, so that I can go out into the world, experience it, and hopefully share those experiences with people who are interested. So welcome to my bus. Uh, I'm going to do some other videos kind of showing uh, people around uh, in what's going on, but I'll do that in another video. This was just a bit of an introduction for you. So, cheers!